The onion industry contributes to the local economy by being one of the high-value crops producing 134,169.92 metric tons and exported 3,571 metric tons of onions in 2013. However, despite being a contributor to the economy, the industry still faces several problems that affect the farmers through production decline and consequently, the consumers through unstable market prices. What was seemingly the cause of the decline can be traced to the effects of climate change and the certainty of weather conditions. The farmers can no longer rely on the traditional climate trends as their basis for planting, cultivating, and harvesting, thus increasing the production losses. Realizing these issues, then Senator Cynthia Villar filed Senate Bill 311 in 2013, followed by Nueva Ecija First District Representative Estrellita Swansing's House Bill 1963, which both seek to establish a Philippine Onion Research Institute in Bongabon, Nueva Ecija. However, considering the fact that research laboratories use 5 to 10 percent greater energy than typical office buildings, it is clearly going to aggravate the climate change. While it can indeed give solutions to the problems of the onion industry, it can also impart negative effects through greenhouse gas emissions and other environmental impacts which will most likely worsen the climate change and in turn affect the industry making a cycle of variables goes on. Since laboratories are areas of specialization of complex collaboration of mechanical, electrical, electronics, sanitary and even chemical handling, the price per square meter is much higher than a typical office and institutional building. Hence, the reason why the development of facilities is divided into several phases. This can be seen as an investment and aid in uplifting the dire situation of the onion industry. Without fillerine, the industry will lose millions due to the lack of locally produced seeds, lack of improvement on farming mechanization, and other post-harvest losses by the year 2020. Hence, the goal of the study is to somehow stop the cycle by designing an agronomic research and development complex for the improvement of the onion industry which is sustainable, innovative, and has productive research processes by applying biomimetic and eco-friendly approaches on the overall design of the complex. Therefore, the design will look into onion as a biomimetic inspiration for a sustainable development of a R&D facility. An onion is a bulb type of crop with concentric strata or layers of fleshy leaves that surround the short stems. Upon cultivation, the onion seed produces leaves which turn into flesh repeatedly in an outward fashion until maturity. The onion layers will be the basis of the development of the complex wherein the facilities can grow in an outward fashion with the research spaces as the core where the development division and techno demo farms are jade and surrounded by amenities and farmer services. Connection between these areas should be properly laid out for a more efficient output. An onion can't live without its roots the way pillarine will not function without the researchers, hence why the residential units are laid out to resemble the onion's moderately branching roots. The existing irrigation reservoir represents the core of the modified stem where the development began. The main research and development building radiates from the core. The research building and development building adapted the function of an onion's auxiliary buds, which despite being almost separate entities, are still considered as parts of a single bulb. The three buildings together mimic the form of an onion bulb, which coincides with their function as the center of the facility. The stem, which grows from the core and connects the leaves to the root, is represented by the circulation network within the site. The leaves, which perform photosynthesis using sunlight and waste from animals to make food, are represented by the onion cold storage facility and waste management facility, which stores the harvested crops and transforms farm wastes into energy respectively. The onion inflorescence attracts bees for pollination the way the multipurpose irradiation facility attracts businessmen and farmers to the institute. Upon closer inspection, the floral diagram of a single floret reveals a hexagonal figure which can be parted into six parts. Since its function is to produce seeds, the seed production farm adopted this form for layout. These concepts will be translated onto the chosen site for the project. The site is an approximately 16 hectare piece of agricultural land in Barangay Palomaria, which has a man made reservoir within its property lines and is bounded by the tributaries of Upper Pampanga River. In terms of topography, the site is gently sloping towards the reservoir and the irrigation lines surrounding it. Since the site is located in the lower part of Bongabon, it is susceptible from low to moderate flooding, which compromises the safety of the RD facility. 
The site is accessible through the Rizal Bongabon Aurora Road but can only be entered through feeder roads which can cause traffic buildup during morning and afternoons, especially if there will be no extensive development of internal roads. The facility will be using a lot of energy, hence their recognition to the power grid and irrigation sources should be tapped to avoid energy and water shortage within the site. Based on this analysis, the following strategies are employed. One of the eco-friendly features of the site is the extensive green roofs of the main buildings. It extends roof life, absorbs sunlight, acts as sound buffer, helps counteract the heat island effect, and improves air quality. The roofs are designed to slope down to direct the rainwater towards the cisterns for reusing. When strong rain persists, the surface runoff will be diverted to the public space that serves as temporary water retention facility to prevent flooding within the site. When the peak of rainfall subsides, the retained water will be let out in the nearby creek, allowing the public space to be dry and be functional again. The irrigation system took advantage of the topography of the site. The water from the adjacent creek enters the site from its highest point and gradually flows downwards to the existing irrigation reservoir before it exits to the same creek which allows all the fields to be irrigated. When water is scarce, especially during the summer season, the irrigation water can be from the stored water in the reservoir or can be pumped from the underground through the use of wind pump irrigation system located on the highest elevations of the site. The biomass and MRF is located where it will be accessible from the cold storage facility and from the Technodemo farms where onion processing waste were produced. The Technodemo farms are essential for verifying the results of scientific research of the fillerine, hence why the farms are located around the core facilities. The seed production farm is adjacent to the greenhouses where the seed producing bulbs are transplanted. The greenhouses are also located near the research building where the seed technology division is located. The other farm blocks are accessible from the development building where the farm machineries are stored and from the biomass and MRF where the firm wastes are recycled. The farmers' quarters are also provided as a resting and eating place from the farm laborers. Aside from the layout of the buildings relative to the site, biomimicry is also applied on the floor plans of the main facilities. The layout of the main buildings are inspired from the layers of an onion. The working areas are located in the court, traversed by a hallway, and have the outermost layer for circulation. With this, the core spaces are receded, which will minimize the exposure to direct sunlight and rain. Multiple entry and exit points are also provided for easier access to ancillary facilities. Furthermore, the ability of onion skin to protect the core from Heat and retain moisture within can be adapted by the building envelope through reducing heat gain and glare, yet allowing air to pass through in the most natural manner possible. Hence, the building envelope can be designed to be controllable, perforated, or an overlay on glass facade. Applying this concept to the building facade, screens of perforated bricks fill the expanse of the walls of public spaces of the main buildings. These allow the breeze to enter, circulate, and exit the building. Tinted low emissivity glass are also used for glass walls to minimize heat gain in the public areas while still allowing the sunlight to filter through the interiors. With this, there will be minimal artificial lighting and no mechanical cooling will be needed. The greenhouse gases and irradiation facilities, on the other hand, mimic the concentric layers of the onion when cut crosswise. The irradiation facility took advantage of this form to keep the irradiation chamber in the core, surrounded by layers and layers of reinforced concrete to shield the users from radiation. Furthermore, upon getting a microscopic view of an onion skin, it reveals the interlaxing cells forming hexagonal structures which can be established as the base form of buildings such as the residential units and other minor buildings. To further increase the performance and sustainability of the buildings, the principles of eco-architecture is applied. Based on the computations, the application of the eco-architecture through solar panels, natural lighting and ventilation, biomass fuel, wind pump irrigation, rainwater harvesting, and reuse of condensate water can minimize the energy and water consumption, which does not only reduce the operations costs, but the greenhouse gas emissions as well. Through the application of biomimetic strategies and through integrating these eco-friendly techniques, the fillerine is expected to be a productive, environmentally sensitive, and an effective instrument to have a holistic development of the industry by creating something that does nothing but only positive things for the better growth of the Philippine onion industry.